Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to BFL Reacts. Today we're back with some more DuckTales 2017. Season 2, Episode 2, The Depths of Cousin Featheril? Feather? Feather. That's an exclamation point, not an L. <laughs> so The Depths of Cousin Feather. I'm excited to meet more of the Duck family. McDuck family. I don't know who this cousin is related to, if, you've, if he's a cousin of the boys, cousin of Webby, cousin of Donald, cousin of Scrooge. Very excited to see and find out. I do wonder when we're going to get our first hint of Season 2 story. Uh, season 2, Episode 1 was just really setting up that I feel like this is maybe going to have some Louis focus this season after that first episode, but I'm not quite sure. Uh, I think someone did tell me that each of the seasons kind of focuses more specifically on one of the triplets. You know, first season obviously being Dewey. I guess we'll see who's the, the big focus of this season as it goes on. My guess is Louis after that first one. So let's go ahead and hop on into it. The vascular cambium displays three distinct growth rings the exact same distance apart. Oh lord, my man is nerding out over tree rings. You drag me out of the bath for this, man. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, bro, I do not care. Why are you licking it? Uh, answer me, please. Is this the cousin? What are the kids doing mucking about in my office? That can is your cousin Feathery calling from my top secret deep sea laboratory. Oh, so it is their cousin. How is he calling on a can from the deep sea? Feathery's a bit. Well, he's. Uh... He's cuckoo bananas. Adventure calling. I made a full new discovery. His voice sounds familiar. Best time waste ever. Wait. Can we oh. just steal Oh no, they're going without Scrooge or Donald. At least Launchpad's there. The treacherous high seas. The abyss. The big blue. I call it the underwater sky. <laughs> the big blue, isn't that a map at F Zero or something? At least a Mario Kart. Perhaps you'll discover a bold new species you'll name after me. Doificus magnificus. No, no, no. Doificus. No, oh the good great lord. Blue doofin. <laughs> Launchpad's not too big on it. Launchpad? Did you steal all the Holy oh, crap! Look at that! Radio came right up. Hubert right there. Dude, down. that that was fucked up. Oh my god, that's gonna that's gonna be bad. Hey, up here! It's me from the camp! Come on up! Oh my oh, god, I know that voice. Genius. That's gonna drive me crazy. Is that Tom Kenny? A siren? Is that you, my love? Oh, <laughs> that's gonna be a fun B plot. Feathery? That's feathery, not feather. What the? Warning! Ah! Never drink seawater. Tempting as it is, it'll just make you thirstier. <laughs> okay, good advice. Oh, what's that thing that does the thinking? Brain! I'm feathery. Okay, so this dude is. Nuts, got it. Arturo, he's just here to scare pirates. Do you get pirates here alive? <laughs> pirates. Never. He's that good. There's never been pirates. Okay, this dude is totally out there. I like your hat. Hey. So, did you have a <laughs> red solidarity? To liquid space, the silent habitat. Yeah, I watched the lighthouse. I know what happens. <laughs> the aquavator. <laughs> Aquavator, sure. Ahoy, Hopefully it works better than the elevator in the Great Dime Chase. Uh, yeah, that would make sense that it was built in the past if it's already an established thing. Embracing the unending darkness, becoming one with the abyss. You're in for a real treat, okay. Donald. Set your minds to wonder. Well, this guy kind of sounds like you. Genius. <laughs> Visionary? In charge of a massive research facility? Hmm. Uh, totally nuts. No. Was that rust he was licking? What? Cousin Feathery is doing what great minds do. Lose yourself to science. Man looks like King Shark in uh, <laughs> the Suicide Squad. What was that? It must be the hydrothermal vents. Yeah, of course. Yes, yes, yes. Volcanic <laughs> yes, yes, yes. minerals into the ocean's lowest depths. <laughs> There's a real Dewey in there. The hydrothermal vents are murking up the water. Go ahead, the team's waiting. His team is whoa. 
Oh my goodness, is this going to be like an alien episode? Oh, oh my gosh, it's happening so quick. What the hell? Well, they all died at the end. What are these? The team. Giant sea worms mutated from the toxic vents. They just want to squeeze the warmth out of you. <laughs> oh, cute little guys. Convince them you're not a threat. Observe. Is that going to work? A good gentle soul, and I am honored to be in your wormy presence. Oh, who's a good worm? Oh, it does work. That's really gross. I don't like these worms. Get off. If you kill me, I will not name you after me. <laughs> I love you. Oh, he just killed him with kindness. Cousin Feathery was right. Dewey, just compliment it. Uh... So, Feathery's a, a bit of a mad genius, I guess. A little out there, but knows what he's doing. Oh my god. No! No! Why? 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 Oh my god. I did not like that one bit. Team meet our distinguished team. Team, meet Lil Donald's one and two. Boys, meet Charles, Sylvia, Cameron, Philippe, Fishbreath, Simone, Virgil, Beverly, Nickel. <sighs> this man's team is really a bunch of shrimp, huh? <laughs> He's singing to them. <laughs> hey, he just loves his shrimp boys. Nothing wrong with that. <laughs> Why do you need them as a light source when you have this spotlight? Like a mirror into your future. So rude. Brilliant, but we're not that similar. You're both obsessed with weird stuff. You both wear red caps that you never take off. The Junior Woodchuck Guidebook states that a warm head breeds warm, healthy thoughts. Oh no, Huey! Oh my god! The whole lab is falling apart. Oh, I warned Uncle Scrooge about the upkeep. So we don't get to find it. Oh awesome. man, Scrooge has been ghosting this dude and kind of screwing him over. Very cool. Watch out for the vents! Good lord, man! How irresponsible! Oh! Oh, there goes the light. All right, team, flank out. Mariners, our journey continues. They swim too far, you can't see the light anymore. I don't know, this is like pretty atmospheric. It's kind of making me anxious. The score is really good here, too. Working on the subaquatic feng shui. You live here? Oh, just for the last four and a half years. Anyway, the moment you've been waiting for. No wonder the dude's lost his mind. Who wouldn't <laughs> living under here alone for so long? Just look out there. And Ta -da! Rainbow Shrimp? Is it behind the krill? It is the krill. They're all rainbowy. Rainbow krill, okay. We stole the sub for krill? <laughs> we almost died for krill. <laughs> oh my god. I don't know. I just thought it looked pretty. You thought I was a scientist? You're not even a scientist? Oh no. Scrooge stationed me here for upkeep and a little light cleaning. You see, this He's is a janitor. Like I guess you could say I'm well versed in the custodial sciences. Oh my god, dude. We got attacked by a squid. I just the worm. Huey, oh my goodness. A man just wanted to show some rainbow krill to his cousins. This has been fun. Hope we never meet again. Now we need to get back to dry land. So fucking rude, dude. That monster's gonna eat us. Ah! Yeah. Oh my goodness. Now that is a Dewey. There you go. I knew we were gonna get it eventually. Good lord. This is a hellscape, dude. <laughs> oh no, he's fogging up his helmet. God, this thing is an eldritch horror. Look at him, he's capable. Y'all are being- oh. Maybe not. <laughs> but y'all are still being really rude. You lured us down here to get devoured by a monster! Thanks! Oh, no! About what? No! What? No! No! <laughs> oh, it's a giant shrimp or giant krill or something? I don't think that's how that works. Oh, he's falling in love with this majestic creature. What? What are you talking Wait, about? is it a krill he knows? She used to be on my team. Remember we split a ribeye that one time. <laughs> he's 
split a ribeye. What are you doing? Stop it! You stop it! I'm trying to save us from that monster you unleashed! No. She's, a monster. She's, a Mitzi. She's misunderstood. Little different doesn't make her bad. Oh, we have a moral? She's trying to help! I think she is trying to help, right? Hard choice here. All junior woodchucks must be open to the unknown in their quest for the truth. The wisdom. Blue krill, blue krill in the deep dark sea. Well, he was gone sea mad. La la la, I'm Huey and I'm so scared. Chemicals in the vents must have mutated a krill and turned it into that. <laughs> this is like that American Godzilla from the 90s. Dewey, stop, bro. You're both nuts. No, just weird. And this guy knows his krill. Yay! Honestly, though, if I were Dewey, I'd be like, all right, I would definitely be hesitant to leave them while drowning in a high pressure situation. Mitzi, you rascal. This is like the fourth coolest thing you've ever done. <laughs> what are the first three? All of us. Well, you thought I could be a scientist. Then maybe I should become one for real. Aw, oh, the motivation. <sighs> Farewell, sweet Oceanica. Whenever I put a conch shell to my ear, I won't hear the ocean. I'll hear your- Uh, Launchpad, what happened to you? I wish we had seen Launchpad's story. Let's go home and convince <laughs> Uncle Scrooge this was Louie's idea. Yeah! <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Let's see, that, that had to be Tom Kenny, right? Yeah, that was, uh, that was Tom Kenny. I knew it. Love Tom Kenny, dude. So that was the depths of Cousin Feathery. <laughs> uh, quite a fun episode. I There were definitely like a bunch of elements from horror stuff that I really liked. It definitely got kind of got alien vibes uh, from the beginning, even though I've never actually even seen Alien, but it's just what I assume it's like. Uh, the, the giant shrimp definitely was reminiscent of the American Godzilla movie from the 90s. 98, I think? Just a lot of fun stuff. I loved Feathery. He was he was fun. I loved his character. I loved the Huey parallels there. Those were really fun. And of course, Tom Kenny is excellent. He always just adds so much whenever he's in a voice role. Love that man. What a legend. I kind of wish we had seen Launchpad's shenanigans. Seems like he had a pretty good time. But I also like the bit that uh, he, he just went off and did like something insane and epic. And it's no big deal, you know, that, that that's fun it, it, on its own. <laughs> I love that they were like, let's go home and convince Uncle Scrooge. And you're like, oh, to help Feathery out, that this was Louie's idea. <laughs> that was a really good little fake out joke there. Uh, let's see what next episode's called. The Ballad of Duke Baloney. Uh, the thumbnail on Disney Plus is Glomgold. So that's exciting. Love my man Glomgold. It feels like forever since we've seen him. Uh, even though I, I, I think he was in the Shadow War finale, so it really hasn't been that long. Uh, but <laughs> I'll catch you guys with that one next time. And until then, peace.